Hello, in today's lecture, we will discuss about MADM method, maximum method, and maxi max method. First, we will discuss about maximum method. Maximum method is based on a pessimistic decision maker's approach. A pessimist always think of loss. Okay, first he will think of loss, then he will take any decision. So, if this method is based on this theory, and one can say that a chain is as strong as its weakest link. So, first what we do this in this approach, we target to the weakest link first and then we go further. How this method works, we can see in the next slides. To understand maximum method, let us consider one example in which decision maker is looking for a car out of four possible options available in the market. The possible options available in the market are car 1, car 2, car 3 and car 4. And the attributes which the decision maker considers are price, fuel efficiency, comfort and looks. So, we will understand how that decision maker take decision using maximum method. Step 1. In step 1, as we can see that in last slide, these two comfort and looks, these two attributes are given in terms of linguistic. So, these needs to be converted into numeral values. So, what we do? We take a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 in general to convert them into the numeral values. In this example, we have taken average as 1, good as 2, very good as 3, excellent 4 and outstanding 5. So, using this scale, we have converted good this all values as to the numeral values. Okay? So, the obtained values are 2, 2, 4, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1. Now, we got a decision matrix in which all values are in numerals. But again, one problem arises which will resolve in step number 2. Now, the next step is the categorization of the attributes. Attributes are categorized into two categories benefit attributes and cost attributes. Benefit attributes are those attributes in which the decision maker prefers more values. And cost attributes are those attributes in which decision maker prefer lesser values. Okay. In the above example, in above example, fuel efficiency, comfort, and looks are benefit attributes. Why? More comfort, more preferable, more fuel efficiency, more preferable, good looks, better looks, and best looks will be more preferable. So these are benefit attributes. But the decision maker will look for less cost, less price. So it is a cost attribute. Price is the cost attribute. Sometimes it may happen that uh, we come across such questions in which non-monotonic attributes are given. So there are methods to treat such attribute. We'll discuss in later classes. Maximum method is step number three. It is normalization. To compare every attributes with each other, we need some normalization method. There are many available methods in the literature, out of which today we have taken linear scale transformation to understand this example. In this, now we have divided the attributes into two parts. Okay, this is cost attribute. This with the yellow color and green color represents the benefit attribute. So, for benefit attributes, we will use this formula to normalize anyone, any value, and the normalized value for cost attribute is given by this formula. 
that is xij divided by summation xij and in case of cost attribute 1 upon xij divided by sum of 1 upon xij. So, to do to do that we one need to calculate 1 upon xij. So, we are calculating 1 upon xij for only for cost attribute. So, for 4 1 upon 4 0.25 like that we have converted 1 upon x i j. Now, to use this formula we need sum of x i j as well as sum of 1 upon x i j in case of cost attribute. So, we have calculated here sum of x i j sum of all these comes to be this. What fuel efficiency is? Cost attribute no, it is benefit attribute. So, in case of benefit attribute we need sum of x i j sum of all these 64 sum of these 9 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 9 and looks 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 4 7 plus 1 8 sum of x i j comes to be this. In next step <coughs> of normalization in this step only but for normalization what we need to do is now for cost attribute we will calculate 1 upon x i j this is divided by sum of 1 upon x i j that is the normalized value for this particular column the particular cell will be 0.25 divided by 0 0.765 similarly for this 0.125 divided by 0 0.765 5, like that 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.765. In case of benefit attribute, this will be the normalized value will be like for this cell 15 divided by 64, 16 divided by 64, 17 divided by 64, 16 divided by 64, like that. For example, this in this case 1 divided by 8 will be the normalized value. This will be the normalized value. Let us see in the next slide. So, 0 0.4, 0 0.25, this is 0 0.33 is the value of 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.765 and we means normalized value. Similarly, 15 divided by 64 comes to be 0 0.23 like that and 2 divided by 9, similarly 4 divided by 9, this is 0 0.4. So, like that we have calculated for all. So, this is we got normalized value for all. For looks this is the normalized value, for comfort this is normalized value and for fuel efficiency this is normalized value and for price this will be the normalized value. So, ultimately what we got? We got normalized decision matrix. So, we can say this is normalized matrix decision matrix matrix normalized decision matrix next step step number 4 once you got normalized decision matrix this is the normalized decision matrix now get the minimum of all the rows so right here minimum this is minimum minimum of all rows in this row 0 0.33 0 0.23 0 0.22, 0 0.13. So, minimum of all these four values is 0 0.13 out of these four, 0 0.13 like that. 0 0.16 is minimum in second row, in third row the minimum is 0 0.13, yes, and in fourth row minimum is 0 0.11. So, select those minimum and write here. Next, focus on this column only and select the maximum out of these minimum values. So, the maximum of 0 0.13, 0 0.16, 0 0.13, 0 0.11 is 0 0.16. Next step is the corresponding option will be selected. Now, select the corresponding option. So, the decision maker will select car 2. 
the cartridge is selected. This is how we work in maximum method. Next, maximax method. Just reverse of maximum method, we are dealing with maximax method. In this method, an optimistic decision maker's approach is used. Optimist always think of that benefit. Okay, benefit will happen. Always he think of that. Okay, I will get success. Means again and again he will think that he will get success. So what we uh, focus on the strongest link of the chain. Our focus is the strongest link of the chain. Let's see how we work with the help of an example. Same example is taken here. So the steps are same. This is the example. Step one again converting them a linguistic term in the scale of one to five. Already explained. Step two categorization the attribute. Same step. Step three normalization is same. Yes, one thing we, the normalization method can be used, any normalization method can be used depending on the problem. So, yeah, any normalization method can be used. Step next, this is step is also same. So, here, max max method is step 4, it changed. In step 4, what we do here, get the maximum of all rows because he always think of the benefit. So, what, what he will take? He will consider maximum only. So, he will think okay yeah, maximum of this maximum of this maximum of this so he will take maximum of all so max for in first row 0.33 in second row maximum is 0.25 yes in third row maximum is 0.44 no 0 0.50 yeah and for car 4 maximum is 0.38 and then again he will look for the maximum so 0 0.50 and he will Choose that car. So car three is selected. That's it. Thank you.